In this video, I'll make a piped brush. Now this was a request from one of my subscribers from uh, quite a few months back. I must apologise for uh, not getting back to him. But here we are, we'll go and make our pipe brush. Now we go to File, New, and we only need a little, little one because we're going to make a small brush. Make a 200 and the height also 200. And I need a transparency, so I click on the Option button there. And I pull down the down arrow and click on Transparency and click OK. I go to my Lip Tool, expand from the centre and make a circle. OK. And then fill it with, uh, with black. It doesn't matter which colour it is. I go back to my Lip Tool and then place another circle within there and just centre it up a little bit you can put the cursor in the centre and that's about it and of course it's a transparency I hit the delete key and remove the centre I'll go to select and select none now I need to repeat that four times so I come over to the uh, layers channel and I hit the uh, re-duplicate button one, two, three more times. I'll go to my paintbrush tool and choose a colour. I'll choose a purple one to start with. Go to the bucket fill tool and fill that with colour. Move down to the next one. Choose my colours. This time I'll choose red and then fill that one with, uh, with red. Now you can't see it there but it's over in the layers channel. It's, it's chosen that background copy there. Now I'll move down to the next background copy, click on the colour palette and then I'll choose the green. Fill that with the bucket fill tool and move down to the very last one. Click on the uh, colour change palette, foreground colour and I choose uh, blue this time. And then click OK and then fill that with blue. Now I go over to file and I export it. In GIMP 2.8 you need to export it. Now I need to go to my uh, document channel and open GIMP 2.8 and then the brush folder. Now I'm going to select a extension. I click that little button there and I move it down and I pick an animated brush extension which is the GIH extension. It places it in there for me now I just type in there pipe because that's what we're going to make and then export because GIMP knows there's four images there it brings up this image format here now it's got a number of cells the size of them and the number of cells which is four and I need to change the ranking so I move that up to what the number of cells are which is four and then choose the uh, instrumental which places them in their correct order then click on export come over to my uh, brush channel and then click the refresh button and there's my little pipe brush there I'll close that off don't save and then go and open another file new and of course it remembers on the uh, image template I, I'll use the template down arrow and choose a reasonably sized template and then click OK now I'll go and click on my pipe brush, choose the uh, the brush, and then increase the size just a little because of the, uh, the size of this, and just drag it down. You can see there it sort of makes a pipe. Now if I close the spacings off, it was set at 20, which is the normal. If I close it right down and then do it, you can see where it gets its name. It's a pipe. I'll go and show you another way. I'll just close that off real quickly. Make a new one. Go to new. We're going to make a new brush. So now once again I need a 200 by 200. And height 200. Advanced button. Pull down the down arrow. Transparency and OK. Now I'll go to my free select tool. And just draw a little pine tree in there. Pretty rough one. Because I'm rushing this a little. And up there. Go to my colour. Choose my foreground colour. 
and then I need a green one because it's a little pine tree. Then I go and fill that with the colour. Go to select and select none. Once I came over here, once again in the layers channel, the duplicate and button four times. Of course you can make it many more times as much as you like. Now I'll choose the top one and I'll resize that. Click in there and just resize it down. The smaller one, scale. Move to the other one, the other layer. I've still got my resize tool. Click on it and then resize that one. So it'll place it up around about there and scale. Once again I'll choose that one and then go and rescale and move that one over to the about that side. I'll make it a bit smaller and then scale. And I'll leave the bottom one as it is. I'll click on the top layer, go over to File and Export. Because it remembers what I, I made a brush last time, an animated brush with a GIH extension, I just type in there tree and then export. I need the uh, period and then export. Once again, it knows it's got four cells, so I need to tell it a ranking of four. Once again, I'll choose the instrumental and then click on the export. Then go down and refresh my brush. There's my little uh, new pipe brush over there. And then I'll go and open a file, new, and choose another large um, one. Now from a template, click OK. Go to my brush tool and choose a, uh, a brush, a little bit too big for that one. And I'll bring it down. That'll do for this, this example. Now I need a black, so I'll click on the, the uh, change it to black. And then click once. Hold this, let the mouse button go, hold the shift key down and click. Once again, click, click once, hold the shift key down, let the mouse button go, click. And then hold the mouse, the shift button down, move the mouse to the edge and then click once again. Now I've sort of made a little, little hill. Now I'll go over to my tree, go to my brush, and it's a little bit small now, so I need to bring it up. That'll be all right for this. And then we just really quick all over the place. Now I've got the spacings too much there, so I'll go and undo that and bring the spacings back to just on 30. I'll just tumble it up to 30 and that should do it. Just move them very quickly around. And you can see there now I've planted a lot of trees in the, uh, in the brush folder. So that's uh, pipes for you in GIMP. So thank you for watching. There is a uh, PDF format printout of this on my channel. If you go to the, uh, the description down below, you'll find a link to that channel.